What's up? What the what the faggots? Uh, come town for. This is uh, th- this American come. This American come. This is the big. This is the big one, dude. Oh, I know yeah. I said the last one was big, but this one's even bigger than the last this one. Is huge. This is a plus size. This is an Ashley Graham size podcast, BBW, dude. This is yeah. two, two dope comes. Uh, <laughs> two dope comes on Radio W come. Uh, W come Y come W come Y C W C U M. Hey, this is okay. Um, so let's introduce ourselves, Nick. Yeah, Nick, uh, aka the Puerto Rican rattlesnake. We got Stav, aka the Puerto Rican rattlesnake, and Adam, of course. What's up, Puerto Rican rattlesnake? Adam Friedland, what's going on? Yeah, everyone? we're the yeah. Puerto Rican rattlesnakes of comedy. <laughs> Uh, it's nice to uh, nice to have Adam back. Yeah, yeah, dude. great. Um, yeah. Yes, it's great to have you back, Dan. Uh, was, thanks, guys. Yeah, it feels great to be. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was cool having a guest, but Dan really kind of stunk. Yeah, Dan uh, wasn't as good as you, buddy. Yeah, that's how we feel for uh, sure. Yeah, we were like Wait, saying. Can- What's that? Can I be real for a second on the podcast? I like uh, I know of course. This is a one hundred percent real. I know zone. that we're this like joking around, talk. like. All right, you guys, like, I think poo-pooed on me a little bit on that last episode. No. No, he didn't. What are you talking about? Dude, I got texts from people. They were like, first of all, you lied to us about being the host of Come Down. <laughs> Second of all, your boys are roasting you, dude. Dude, you I don't You guys were so. flat-hand Brandon Wardell roasting me on the pod, and I wasn't even on That's it. That's not true. That's a I wasn't even lie. on it to defend myself. I don't know who told you that, but they're a fucking yeah, who liar. who that? Name names, dude. I mean, they're friends of mine. People well, that listen to the podcast. They're lying, dude. We didn't say a negative word about you. We're glad that you're back. Dude, we... it's on. Okay, first of all, it's a podcast. It's recorded. You can check it. Like, you can, like, look it up. What like, did we say then, bitch? Yeah, we didn't say anything. You said that I ruined the podcast and that I'd never be on no, it again. No, never. Maybe in private conversation, I've, like, maybe offered constructive criticism about your behavior. Look, you dude. You never gave me constructive criticism. Guys, you I've said it on me when I wasn't on no, the No, I've said it a room. couple of times. Look, you need to understand that when you come in here. To the Anthony Cumia Studios at the top of the Empire State Building. This is the eagle's nest of podcasting. Okay, the don't, stakes are higher. Don't, don't put this p like make me out to be a PC pussy ass bitch. Don't make that's this all are. about your political bullshit that's where you're you mad are, at. Bitch. No, no, that's this is bullshit, an alpha dude. male podcast. This is about this, this is, is about no. Males. This is about friends. That started comedy together. That are trying to fucking do a podcast together and not shitting on each other. They're shitting on everyone shit else. We like, didn't. Sh- we didn't shit on you. Okay. Dude, nobody relax. Nobody relax. shit on you. I'm I hot. Even... I'm hot right now, and it's not. I just. I would expect dude, you're about to get banned. I honestly. can't. Yeah. I can't believe you would even do this. Don't ban. You would accuse me of these things. Okay. Get Dan back. Especially get Dan me, back. Considering I'm. The, I bought all the shit. I'm. Everyone That's knows true. I'm the gear. I'm the gear guy of the crew. I'm the one that makes all this shit happen, and you're going to say that I did something to sully our friendship. Dude, I had... Um, when I'm, I went to B&H Photo, and I had to deal with those, that... You know who wretched owns that place. People. You know who owns that place. I know place. who the fuck owns that place. You know Continue that sentence. I don't like it. Continue em. that sentence. Well, I'm not what going to. What kind of person? I'm not dealing with Just that. Just say you know what kind of person. Guys, you know what? relax. If you don't like the way the pie... I'm leaving. I'm leaving. No. I'm going. Nick, come on. I'm done. Nick, don't be a... I'm, I'm leaving. Uh, I'm, I'm just talking it out. Part of a podcast, we're going to be accused of, of being. Some Dude, kind this of is why we got a pat. This Stop. is why we got a pod. Because uh, if we have beef, you work I'm it out on the pod. No, if you have beef, you work it out on the Fuck. pod. Adam, shut up, dude. Come on, dude. That's what pods are for. They're for working out beef, dude. This sucks. What dude, you fuck? got beef, you bring it to the pod. This isn't married. Dude, Nick is a shit. bitch, dude. He just left his podcast equipment here. Look, we have to do this. We have to finish this podcast. We take over. I am now the host of. Dude, come tell Town. him to come back. Shut up. Shut up. All right, I'm the host now. All right, all right, all right. I'm the host of Come Town, everyone. Hello, welcome to Come Town. It's now a Nick Mullenless podcast. Because uh, he's a this Nick, is pff, Adam. Okay, sorry. You know what? This isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna work with two people. I can't do it with you, man. I just don't think you have. Uh, Dude, you have we're what better said. off without Nick. Look, let's be honest. Let's just open the door, okay, to the Anthony Cumia Studios. Do you want Park. Nick? Just just open the door, and whoever's hanging out. We'll let them be our third co-host. Dude, if you want Nick, you can... Hey, hey, it's me, Nick Mullen. Diarrhea, diaper, uh, diaper rash, diarrhea. My diaper has autism. Stop it, all right? Save I'm, it. I'm Nick Mullen. I, we need a my, third. <laughs> I'm not going to have you roast my good friend, Nick. All right. I would never... Excuse me, is this the Jew? Oh, the my Asian? God. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Look who we have here. Oh, oh, oh my God. Who, who are you? Oh, hey, is this? Hey, Seth. Seth Dickfield. Seth Dickfield. Oh, it's hey, me, hello, boys. Wow. Wow. 
Uh, oh, you have a seat. This is a great wow. time of your year. Because actually, Nick, who you know, you know Nick. Oh, Moore. I hate that guy. Well, you oh, know. Is he's not here, is he's he? He's my good friend. This is, it's actually, and I won't have you sully his name, but he actually just left, and we're looking for a third co-host, and it looks like you're the third co-host oh, of Oh, boy. Town. Oh, I despise him. It's actually him. pretty amazing how every time Seth Dickfield is here, it's like a Peter Parker kind of Spider-Man kind I of thing. I don't know what you're getting at at all. I don't know. Okay. Um, um, that's crazy. Well, I'm here now, and I tell you what, I love podcasting. <laughs> that's great, I buddy. love it. I We've love this. I love film. talking Seth, into dude. the microphone. What, go Shoot. Shoot. I'm, I'm, I'm all yours. It's good to have someone like I am. Okay. I don't want to talk shit on Nick while he's not here. Like he talked shit on me last week. But dude, like, don't talk shit about my friend. Go ahead. It's just his politics get kind of exhausting. Oh, I'm so mad at this PC. I'm so mad at this, you know. This that's the worst part about him. I'm and 100%. That's what I like about Seth Dickfield. You know, when I hear PC, what I think in my mind is not politically correct, but pretty cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's how I think. I, yeah, I'm proud to be PC, a pretty cool guy. Yeah. So uh, last time you were here, you were talking about Lady Ghostbusters. Oh, I saw it. I got it on uh, Torrent, but I donated money to Rain, uh, the ticket price for the movie. So women that are raped will get the money for the Lady Ghostbusters, which I illegally downloaded at my, wow. to watch at my girlfriend's apartment. That's and great. Uh, I, it was great. Uh, I did, you know, I mean, I only watched the first five minutes, and then I had to, you Is know. Is it true that they uh, that they vacuum them up into their pussies? Uh, <laughs> Is that how they vacuum the ghosts? That's one hundred percent true. <laughs> uh, that's how exactly you? how the movie goes. That's good. It's natural, you know. Uh, you know, and uh, what I was more afraid of than the ghosts while watching the movie was uh, the men in the film. Oh yeah, because you know what's what is a ghost going to do? You know, maybe That's scare true. you a little bit. A man, uh, well, he's going to do the wage gap. <laughs> he's going to do the wage gap at you. So he's true. not going to pay you in, uh, as much money. That that's is true. so fucking. And true. I just I heard, don't think that's fair. I heard you know, it is kind of messed up that the four female protagonists of the new Ghostbusters earned the least amount of money out of any actors on that film. That's oh, yeah. true. And that the original true. Ghostbusters were around in the eighties, yeah. and so even adjusting for inflation, they made way more money. Yeah, yeah, it's true. And the female Ghostbusters had to do so much more work considering the increase of ghosts in New York since nine eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, can you, uh, so Seth, mad. could you actually like, you know, I, d I don't know mm. if this is cool or not for a podcast, but could you give us a couple like good bits like that from the Ghostbusters movie, like a couple lines that you remember? The girl, uh, the girl uh, Ghostbusters one? No, I actually don't remember any of the lines from the movie. I put the film on, and then I looked in the mirror, and I pat myself on the back <laughs> for the next two hours, and I kept saying, good for you. Good for you, <laughs> Seth. Don't let, those, don't let those bad guys on Reddit tell you what you can or cannot enjoy. Are you looking forward to anything else? It sounded sound like you asked if this was the Juno Diaz reading. Um, oh, by the way, Seth, do you want snacks or something? Like... Yeah, we have actually we have like uh, chocolate. Oh, like is these M and M's? Oh, these are M and M's. Yeah, they're, they're these regular M and M's. Oh, these are peanut M and M's. No, no, no yeah. they're regular M and M's. No, they're. Oh, peanuts. I had some earlier. I can't have peanuts. Oh uh, wait, wait. Hum, hum. <laughs> these are definitely peanut M and M's. Oh yeah, no, you. Oh no, I'm allergic to literally everything. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, oh, uh, how are you? Are you I, got, I don't feel so good. I have to go get help. I'm gonna go look for help. I'm uh, sorry. Someone has to stay here with me. I'll well, stay here with you, but like, do you? What, do you have like an EpiPen or do you have like I don't. I don't have anything. I just need to, people to tell me I'm a victim until I feel better. <laughs> Please console me. Please, someone tell me how much of a victim I am. <laughs> no, I mean, if you're allergic to peanuts, we, we need to get oh, like God, some medical my, I feel my here. throat's closing up. I feel, do you have I like feel like I'm being persecuted. Contact? I feel, oh, yes, it's in my wallet. Here, call my... Oh, I hate him so much, but uh, please call my cousin, okay. What's Baltimore your cousin? comedian R Ralph Horowski. Okay, he I'm calling him right now. Bring, bring. Yo. Yo. Oh, yo, Ralph. This what is the fuck is this shit, yo? Ralph, why, it's yeah, me. Why y'all fucking wake me up, yo? Wow, Ralph, how, you just showed up here? That's amazing. <laughs> hey, yo, I was just in the other room taking the shit, yo. <laughs> Anthony Kumia is my idol, yo. <laughs> I love the way he be treating them blacks on Twitter, yo. Dude. He got a real way about himself. Okay, so let's clear yeah, things up right is, now. What the hell are y'all up to, yo? I just had a peanut and I think I'm dying. Oh, my God, this about is... fucking Tom, yo. Ralph, you yeah. are... A Baltimore comedian. Yeah. And you're also cousins with Seth? Yeah, Seth, Seth Dickfield is my Jew cousin. Well, we call him that. He ain't no Jew, actually, bloodline-wise, but 
We don't trust him because he wear glasses and he be doing he be uh, eating bagels sometimes. He's just a Jew as style. He does it as yeah, style. Yeah, and honestly, that's even worse the way I look at it. Yeah, <laughs> to have, to be to choose that type of lifestyle. I can't. You know, my outrage has cured me of my peanut allergy. <laughs> I can't believe you say <laughs> these things. Seth, you're, you're back. <laughs> you're back. You're I'm all, back. I'm off the live. ropes, and I've had enough of this bullying from my yeah, you from my s- my ethnic white cousin. So so Ralph, do you find yourself? in this uh, sort of a similar political bent to say? Yo, uh, first of all, yo, I don't be doing no politics, yo. I'm a moderate, yo. That's, <laughs> I'm on both sides. I, the, I see the good on both sides. You know what I mean? Like, I say, I say honestly, yo, you want to get abortions, yo, do that because who trying to wear condoms? I ain't trying to wear no condoms. Yeah. So you get them abortions going, but you trying to be president after you had an abortion? No, thank you, yo. <laughs> You cannot be doing that shit. Like, yo, get them shits. But you can't be holding public office after you got abortion, after you fucking killed a beautiful wow. ass baby, yo. Wow. That, that baby could despicable. have played third base for the fucking Orioles, yo. I don't First of all, sports should be illegal. Second of <laughs> oh all, my God. all Take it back. never. The uh, A's, never. A's, Ravens, Ray Rice was framed. My other cousin worked <laughs> at that elevator, and he ain't seen none of that shit go down, oh. yo. Y'all ain't see the real tapes, yo. There should be a statue of every one of Ray Rice's victims. Sports should be illegal yo. except for lady soccer. Shut up, yo. Wow. Don't, don't, wow. I'm being victimized. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> you know, if, yo, every time Seth be talking when we was growing up, we would just molest him, yo, until he shut up. <laughs> Ralph. Ralph. <laughs> Ralph. Yeah? What? All right. I'm about to molest you, yo. This I don't like is, the way okay. you be looking at Listen, me. Listen, I'm the on, only yeah. host... <laughs> I'm the only host left of Cometown right now, and I feel like a responsibility. Yeah. Well, how about is this? there some reason you need to go for I some responsibility? Nobody likes the word come anyways. Yeah, well, I it's, love come. It was a bad podcast. It's, we're doing a new podcast okay, I now. I just like that. For I, real comedians. Oh, wait a second. Is this, am I on this podcast, yo? Yeah. yeah on our podcast on this right podcast? Now. Oh, my bad, yo. What y'all need me to do, yo? Okay, so Ralph, I'm just... Th- oh, okay. I, I'd like I you to be respectful. I'd me. like you to respect your cousin... Even if fuck him, yeah. even if he is fuck, fuck me, S- screw you, pal. <laughs> oh even God. if he, he is doing whatever the <laughs> blackface up, is of Jews right now, sure. and that's incredibly all, offensive. I ain't got to no me. problem with blackface. Okay, <laughs> first of all, that's history, yo. How are you gonna take history out the history books? Okay. <laughs> All You've right, never huh? read a book in your life. <laughs> books is gay. I, I love will... books. I hang out at the library and I meet first of all, yo. There. First of all. I've read. Have you checked my Facebook? I read The Giver. Thank you very much, yo. Y'all see that shit? Yo, the apple. In one scene, yo, the apple was black and white, but then it turned red, yo. Yeah, I only read the first three chapters, (laughs) but that shit's fucked up. Yo, that's a metaphor, yo. I just learned what that word means. You don't even know what a metaphor is. Yeah, it is. It's a it's okay, a truck. It's, 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 he's it, Ralph is an imbecile. He's a grade A imbecile. Why, so then, why is he your emergency contact? And why did he show up immediately after Yo, you? I ate was. Those I told you. I was. Uh, I was. He has at a the very Anthony fast Kumia car. Studios. I have a very fast car, yo. That shit ain't street legal. I got six lawnmower engines in there on top of my Ford Turbo Taurus, yo. That's a special kind of Taurus. You got a turbo out Taurus. I got a turbo out Taurus, yo. I got Where do a you spoiler. work? Where do I work? Yeah, yeah. I work out the Sh- Sherwin Williams out Glen Burnie. Oh, nice. Yeah, y'all need any kind of type of paint? Y'all tell me, yo. What I you like need? the Sherwin Williams logo. Yeah, cover the earth. Cover the earth with just, paint. <laughs> hell yeah, yo. That could be the new Cuntown logo, yo. Cover the earth with jizz. Oh my god. Yeah, y'all. Yo, yo, I took a couple branding and marketing classes over at SS Community College, <laughs> and um, it's got to be strong. Your branding got to be strong, yo. That's Are my you, take on it. Wow. I didn't... You know, Ralph, I'm really glad you can give us these kind of pointers. I just wish that Slav and Nick were yo, here. Yo, did you just fucking look at me, yeah? I don't know. I'm look looking at you. at you right now. So, yo, shut and the I, fuck up, I'm son. a grown man. I'm, I am... You ain't no grown man! I am 47 years old, okay. and you will not speak to me like this. I'm fuck tired you, of yo. it. Yo, I'm that's tired why, of being That's why bullied. our uncle sucked your dick the most. All right. I I don't remember that. Uh, I choose not to. Uh, I yeah, you don't I remember just... that shit, yeah. He would take us to the discovery zone. So you're and saying... whoever couldn't do the obstacle, <laughs> whoever did the obstacle course the slowest got molested. <laughs> that's, how, that's how you train I champions. Have... That's how you breed champions I out this fucking asthma. house. Yeah. Are you can't... telling me, okay, guys? I, here's my question. Okay, rain is Ralph. Yeah. You're 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 implying that your cousin yeah. was molested into behaving Jewish. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, yeah, everybody knows that's how Judaism started, yo. Yeah? Well, I, you know, I wouldn't disagree with that. I just don't like the presentation of the facts. I wouldn't yeah. say that's incorrect, but you know, maybe I, maybe I chose not to do the obstacle course that fast. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the other thing, yo. In the back of the head, everybody knew he liked that shit, yo. No. We would all get together. All right. Is there something wrong guys, with that? Guys, I know that Is there something <laughs> wrong with that? Yeah, we Please would... explain to me in I know the, the least homophobic terms possible. I know we're loosey-goosey here on Cometown, but Ralph, I think you're really <laughs> heading into dangerous territory. <laughs> I'm just by spitting facts that about your cousin. First of all, the, history ain't dangerous territory. Historically, this is what happened to Seth. He would get molested after the Savory Zone because he couldn't do the obstacle course, and we would all sit in the back of the room pretending to be watching Martin reruns, but really we was listening to him like getting molested and calling him gay. <laughs> that's it. That's history, yo. That ain't nothing that's wrong, yo. Open your eyes. Thank you. Anyway, what was you saying? All right. Well, I'm Seth, I'm really sorry to hear about the constant abuse that you had to face growing up. That's a uh, that, Yo, that was just really he, first of all he ain't grow up with us. That was just during Thanksgiving and Christmas. <laughs> oh yeah, Seth, where did you grow up? Uh, I grew up in uh, Louisiana. <laughs> oh, that's where you get your classic Louisiana. That's, accent that's for. this is a classic Louisiana <laughs> accent. Everyone in Louisiana sounds like this. <laughs> You just sound like, geez, like a real Have you, Creole. Yes, it's it's just like, uh, you know, Aunt Jemima speaks this way. <laughs> Uncle Ben speaks this you way. Feel like yeah, here's, a question, Roni yeah. got, here's a question, yeah. okay? Because you're from Louisiana... Do you have more of a French perspective on things? Is that <laughs> is that like a? I would say so. I like wearing tight fitted shirts and eating bread that looks like a penis. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't. Yeah, believe, pause, yo. I don't, I pause, don't believe yo. Women should have to pause, yo. My man, gay still. <laughs> that I was, thought you was about to grow out that shit, but I should have known better. First yo. of all, I love women. Yeah, I, right. It's yo. both sexually and politically. Yo, I bet you've gone down on a woman before. Wait, of so course that, I have. Okay, just gay. That's said, how you have sex. Yo, I ain't never said you love women, but you're decidedly anti Hillary Clinton. If you I love am. women, why don't you support the woman that's Ooh, that you. Right I, I want First Bernie, but I would have sex with Hillary Clinton. <laughs> I think Hillary is a beautiful woman and I would enjoy a body in a in a in a in a way yeah, that yeah, would right. result but in both of us experiencing gross. a simultaneous orgasm. But Seth, yo, that shit gross, you yo. divulged to us that yo, you that had bitch Doo doo, yeah. Fuck you've, her. Yeah. You've had That's four so circumcisions. Misogynistic. Yo, that bitch got hair like my uncle Donald. Yeah. And you know what? I donated all of my foreskin to trans people so that they could create new genitals. Uh, what the fuck did you just say, Donald? Yeah? What a shitty name. You ever think of that? Donald? Yeah, don't talk that way about my uncle. Yeah. <laughs> all right, sorry. It's just a bad name. I would never insult anybody's name, Yo, especially ugly Donald. Ass bitch, yeah. I think she's gorgeous. All right, first of all, let's be a little bit more respectful to women no, and our uh, our no, other yeah. guests. Ralph, listen. What? We, we do Man, know. Man, you're making me mad, yo. I understand that Seth is probably one of the most annoying human beings that yeah. I've ever met in my entire yeah, life. Yeah, he was. But we can't. We got to respect other opinions and perspectives here on Come Town. I don't think That's so. the thing that I got upset about listening to the last podcast where Nick and Sav uh, did it with a uh, fa- famous comedian, uh, Dan uh, Soder, without oh, me. Oh, they got Soder, yeah? Instead yeah. of you? They oh, got, that guy's good, they, yeah. They got Soder. That guy's so- funny as hell. Okay, but like... He's a lot better than your dumbass, yeah? You know what I like the thing is, 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 uh, is, that they is brown nosing. <laughs> is when people do that, is they suck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's much better, yeah. They should do that all the time. Dude, Anyway, okay. what were you saying? I'm just saying that, like, they did the... Uh, Asian voices and uh, South Asian voices. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> and I don't know if that's Yo, something. I love... I, that, about I think that's hour? despicable. You should never do a voice of any kind of race or gender yeah, that doesn't that, belong that to you. That you don't belong to. Exactly. exactly. I wait, agree wait, with that, Seth, too. But you should Seth, never make a man a caricature. You should never do that, ever. Okay, Unless we're in agreement. It's one of those tasteful ones that you get on Times Square where they make you look like a ballerina, <laughs> but your head is very big. Yeah, ballerina, huh? I wonder why my man like that shit. <laughs> My man like wearing two days. <laughs> it, no, it's a very athletically demanding sport. Have you ever seen the calves of a male Do you ballerina? Just talk? Yo, ballet, everybody knows ballet is just gay stuff. The shit gay people watch to get in the mood to have sex with each other, yo. <laughs> That's how it started, yo. The prince of fucking Russia couldn't get hard so he looked at men jumping up and down I, y- y'all think I don't know my history my motherfucker I know my fucking history yo dude but uh, I what think what are you saying though Adam listen I just think that like 
you can make jokes and you can make comedy without having to do belittling stereotypes of of different races. I mean, sure. I think we can. There are a lot of very funny comedians out there. First of all, there's like truths to stereotypes, okay? Bill Mayer, um, John Mayer. <laughs> you know, these are guys that are really doing it without um, punching down. You know, they're punching. I know all about punching, punching down, up. yeah. I know about punching punching. Y'all ever get in a fight with me? You're, y'all, y'all, only hear, y'all only hear like fucking 10 hits. You only punch down. You only hear 10 hits. Well, I hit you. You hit the floor. Me and my boys hit you eight more times while you're locked <laughs> unconscious. Yeah, that's what you hear, my man. So I know a little bit about punching down. <clears throat> anyway, so, yeah, this shit's fucking boring. Yeah, what the fuck? Y'all got any fucking uh, chicken bosses out here? Yeah, I don't have any chicken pasta. I do have chicken peanut- bosses. Chicken box bosses. B o x e s, bitch. Bo- bosses. Bosses. You don't know what chicken, chicken box boxes? is? Like a boss of chicken. <laughs> yo, I can't be around this motherfucker. Yo, there's too many Jews here. Yo. You're Jewish, ain't you? I am. Seth is not, and it's he it, might as fucking well. Seth, be, I just want to talk to you about. This I'm not caricature. Jewish. I don't know why everyone thinks I'm a Jewish person. What you're doing? It doesn't Seth, make any sense to me. Listen. I would give my last nickel if I never had. To, well, maybe not that far, but I would, <laughs> I would consider it if oh, I could shit. never have to put up with that kind of. Uh, I think the Anthony Cumia show is coming back. Yeah, they're about to um. Make a retarded guy get a boner. I gotta go watch. I'm that late shit, for my yo. ninth therapy session today, so I have to leave anyways. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Yeah. When this shit sucks. I, I, I'm, I'm grateful that you got my emergency contact here, but I am so displeased yeah, with having you. to be confronted with my awful cousin. <laughs> uh, most of my family I don't get along with, but him the least, and his yo, molester me the father. Least, yo. What about my dad who molested you? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm glad he's dead, <laughs> but. You know, it is uh, at least a physical relief that I don't have to <laughs> deal with him anymore. Well, anyway, yo, I got to get the hell up out of here, yo. I ain't been, I, I ain't about right. to be, y'all Ralph. will never hear me on this podcast again. I can promise that uh, shit. Probably me not <laughs> uh, either. I don't think. Ralph. I'm coming Seth, back. Seth Fuck Dickfield. you, man. I'm leaving, yo. Fuck you. Seth Dickfield, Ralph, thank you so much for being with us. Ravens! Ravens number one. All right. Um... I guess I guess it's just me in the studio right now. I I, I just want to thank you guys uh, for for listening. Um, I'm just gonna take it to break, I guess, and see if I can get Nick and Stav back. Nationwide um, warehouse. Nationwide warehouse. We interrupt to bring you an important message. Our everyday low prices are 33 to 70 percent lower than national chain. Nationwide warehouse. Nationwide warehouse. But for three days only, take an additional 10 percent off marked items. Nationwide warehouse. Living rooms from 198 dollars to 498 dollars. Nationwide warehouse. Nationwide warehouse. Bedrooms from 188 to 428 dollars. Nationwide warehouse. Mattresses from 24 to 99 dollars each piece sold in set. Brand new free layaway. Hurry. Nationwide Warehouse Sale ends Monday Nationwide Warehouse At Nationwide Warehouse Nationwide Warehouse Eight convenient locations Queens Nationwide Warehouse Bronx Nationwide Warehouse Long Island Nationwide Warehouse Manhattan Nationwide Warehouse Newark Nationwide Warehouse Lodi Nationwide Warehouse Asbury Park Nationwide Warehouse Phone 1-800-252-2232 Nationwide Warehouse Nationwide Warehouse All right, we are back from break Guys, Nick and Stav have agreed to return. Hey guys, we're hey. back. Sorry, sorry guys. Got uh, a little heated. I got you, a little upset. It got really weird here, but while you were away, and I'm just oh yeah, I is just, Seth okay, dude. Yeah, oh Seth, Seth was Dick here. Yeah, okay. Seth and his, yeah. and who who were you uh, telling me came? This guy from Maryland, Carl or Ralph? It was Ralph. Yeah, Ralph. Yeah, he uh, <laughs> Ralph he was a disgusting person. <laughs> hey, well, that's my culture, man. And, right. uh, and Seth and him are cousins, from what I understand. That's so weird. Yeah, that's kind of convoluted, wouldn't yeah. you say? Like, kind of have, a stretch? Yeah, it doesn't really make sense. <laughs> wow. It's weird that they both be here at the same time, exactly. considering you know they live yeah. so far apart. But, man, it's good to be back. You know, I need you, and I don't want, I don't want to do this apart again. And I'm sorry for, like... Being being a bitch, dude. That's right, man. That's I'm, okay. As long as you understand, like, we didn't say anything negative about you on the yeah. podcast. It's like... No, you said and something we never negative. Will. No, that's not true. Yeah, uh, but, anymore. you know, we Guys, accept your apology. We accept and it. I calmed down. I went outside. Me and Stav, you know, we saw this. We, <laughs> we were out there. This kid with uh, Down syndrome walked by. And I just, it just <laughs> always makes I me couldn't, smile. I couldn't stop. Yeah. <laughs> for how uh, proud of him I was. Not, like, in a yeah, mocking exactly. way. Yeah, exactly. Me too. I, mm-hmm. It just felt so good for him that I calmed down. 
Um, and the whole town told him he was Batman, right? Yeah, we all pretended he was <laughs> Batman. I went up to him and I was like, "You're Batman." And he was like, "No, I just pushed the carts here." <laughs> Well, um, it's good to be back. Yeah, yeah let's catch up. Well, Pe- let's, yeah, people let's are going to think we're setting up another bit. <laughs> <laughs> we don't what do, do mean, bits. bits. We don't do. You're you know, right. I don't We've know. never people, done bits. People, I guess, have, have commented on that. They're like, you know, we love the characters, but there's no none of us. I don't think we, any of us no. do characters. Well, we're working on a couple. Right yeah, um, yeah, yeah. We we were thinking about we, uh, like. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do the French one. Let's do the French. Yeah, one. we I mean, came up with this character. Yeah. He's like, uh, so he's a French guy. He's French. Yeah, he's French. Hello. Um, I am from France. Uh, uh, hello, I am from France too, and I am gay with him. <laughs> uh, we are gay together. We I are gay, and we are French, and we are here, and this is my boyfriend. And uh, we we kiss each other, and uh, we have uh, one of those uh, bicycles that is like a, a double bicycle, but we uh, use the same seat anyways because it is uh, more gay. <laughs> Yes, well, uh, we, he's, uh, my boyfriend is uh, fucking me in the house <laughs> while we are riding on I the bicycle. I do with fuck the, men with my penis. Uh, but yeah, that's the character. So we're working that's on the that. character so that's the that, that we were, were working on. That's pretty good. I thought that yeah. went well. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna uh, it was better that. in dress rehearsal, maybe. But I think that it went oh, okay. For yeah, the real we spent show. the last yeah, yeah. like fucking week and a half trying to figure out, you know, trying to make this podcast. So oh, he's what French about that? What about the what about the four twenty one? What four twenty one? You know that the 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 look. Here's here's the thing I know. It's four twenty <laughs> isn't a joke to me. You know I take yeah. that shit seriously, dude. Absolutely. But, okay. It's four twenty somewhere. Because you know what? It's still a fucking crime. You know. That and is that, true. Uh, uh, people like us are persecuted every day in states like. Luckily, it's legal here in New York. Listen, so <laughs> listen, Nick. we can get we can get fucking four twenty ripped up <laughs> right. out on the streets whenever it's, we want. It's legal for white people, and pretty soon it's going to be legal for black people. Well, too. I don't care about that. I mean, <laughs> the first one, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's true, man. Everyone, everyone, worry about yourself. You know, that's you know? the thing is that you can't put you can't put men can't put their laws. On a plant, okay? yeah, especially not for other white Thank guys. Thank you. On a plant, okay. Thank you. I think we're all in agreement here uh, about weed and gay French men. Do you guys uh, want to smoke weed real quick? I would love to smoke yeah, weed, dude. Weed. <laughs> Always, I'm smoking <laughs> weed. <laughs> oh, this is good, dude. <coughs> this is dank ass weed, bro. Oh, that's good. Get that binger out there. Dang, that's fucking weed. Get that binger, dude. Get that binger popping. Hell yeah, dude. Oh. (laughs) Dude, you see the... (coughs) 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 And what? <coughs> Damn, Nick, stop hitting that shit, dude. Dude, Nick, look at Nick, that binger rip, Nick, dude. stop hitting that dude, shit, Dude, one bro. time Nick hit a binger for a Hold week. Hold on. I'm not even oh, lying shit. to you. No, let me do, I'm going to do the joint on top of it. Oh, dude, you're savage, dude. Rip. Dude, Nick uh, is so savage, he just hit a binger and then hit a, <laughs> and then hit a J without even blowing anyway, it out, bro. Well, great start to the second half. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> sesh, dude. I think we had a good smoke out just now. Good start to the second half. We had a what good smoke out. We had a good sesh, and I think that's like what's important. You know, man, the thing about podcasts is you just do them. Just you know, do them, man. You just, that's, how, that's how you build a listenership is you do them. <laughs> you get good gets, you know. Hot gets. I asked my friend the other night what he liked about the podcast, and he said he liked the fact that we didn't come on. try at all. Yeah, <laughs> I asked myself, shit. and I th- I thought, what do I like about the podcast? And because I, you know, I th- I've been considering actually listening to it after we <laughs> record it, and nah, uh, nah. and then I thought, no, nah, that's stupid. No, um, I'm with you. But good news, uh, I got a friend from Russia. We're gonna hack Mark Marin's email and get all of his guests the week before they really? do. What the Ooh, fuck? Yeah. Smart. Ooh, that's Smart. nice. So dude. we got Chuck Mangione coming on next <laughs> week. He's going to talk about his French horn, aka the gay trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> that is a gay ass trumpet. Who's kidding? I am from France. I, I am a, 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 the, the gay trumpet. <laughs> I love a sex with men. We but play also the horn animals. with our penises. <laughs> we put it um, in the horn. 
All right. Um, no, uh, I guess here's uh, here's the thing we can talk about. Let's hear is, it. Uh, so I worked a job last week. Can't really talk about it. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> what kind but, of job? Uh, uh, I can't talk about it. But uh, there was some work. Yeah. Let's say I let's say I did a little thing where I had to wear a costume. He's and in pretend Ocean's Fourteen. I'm in Ocean's Fourteen. <laughs> um, I'm in Ocean's Nine Eleven. It's the movie where <laughs> George Clooney and Matt Damon have to blow up the World Trade Center. <laughs> Since nine eleven, did we just do? That's great. That's, that's, a, that's wow, something. dude. Uh, also, also national. Yo, bleep that out of the podcast because that's an ace bit that we can. Yeah, yeah. ace bit. You know that joke almost makes me want to get even higher, dude. Oh yeah, dude. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's break. Um, Cottonmouth Kings, baby. That's my favorite band. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> um, anyway, you oh yeah, saying so yeah, I'm job. working this yeah. job and. Uh, uh, I, I want to talk about. Uh, I've tried. I've, I've maybe mentioned it to a couple of people, but you guys uh, are you familiar with uh, Black Nerds? Oh, because fuck yes, dude. a lot of people don't know that they think Black Nerd. They're like, oh, you mean Urkel? And it's like, no, Steve Urkel was a black guy playing a white nerd. That wasn't actually right, a black right, right, nerd. Right, right, There's right. no black nerd that's actually like that. Black Steve Urkel was a black face. Black, Steve Urkel was a black guy playing a white nerd. Mm-hmm. And then a real black nerd is more like Stefan. <laughs> yeah, 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 is, yeah, is yeah. what Jaleel Stephon. White thought was cool. <laughs> yeah. It's like he's like, I'm actually the cool Urkel. I like Street Fighter and Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. <laughs> I don't wear glasses. I got contacts. Check out my leather jacket that I wear in the middle of the summer. Yo, That's like a black no, nerd. No, black nerds, dude. That's an annoying thing. Black nerds are like katana type. Yeah, kids. They right? love Asian. Yes, they're all ghost dog way of the samurai. They love. There was a kid DBZ. They love. Avatar: there, Last Airbender. Mm-hmm. There was a kid in my uh, Naruto in uh, at po- in po- Baltimore Polytechnic Institute, baby. Uh, fucking engineers, bitch. The Polycrackers. Uh, Baltimore that- Polyamorous High School. <laughs> Baltimore Poly- we all just like and fucked each other. Uh, it was a lot of fluid bonding. Um, there was a kid who, when he got mad at the teachers, <laughs> would pretend he was going Super Saiyan. Oh, he would just he would be like, huh, huh, huh. <laughs> like it was like all right, all right, Jim, get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> this is just fucking. Yeah. And there was also another black nerd who, uh, he was very gay. He was a black theater nerd, actually. Those mm. are the best. I had he a also knew close karate. friend in high school that was a black gay theater. Black nerd. gay theater nerd yeah. knew karate. This is you know Baltimore, and he would just like people tried to bully him for being gay, and he fu- one time he straight up roundhouse kicked like a thug <laughs> kid <laughs> in the hallway. It was fu- and then just did like a Z snap. It was yeah. fucking incredible, and he was. Notorious yeah. for blowing like straight kids in the fucking <laughs> upstairs. He was the he was the equipment manager, so he had the keys to the closet, and he would just blow kids. All well, the time. that was that was the guy I worked with. He was like a black nerd, incredibly jacked. I had to like change with him. They're like, all the guys change over here, and everybody else is in shape. I'm like, can I just change with the women? Is <laughs> there gonna be like a shitty body room? But he is. Oh yeah, he's jacked. He's wearing a wife beater that looks like a Gold's Gym wife beater, but it says Goku's Gym. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got like a drawing of Goku in the middle where the guy would be living in the wings. And at one point he goes, he looks at me and the other girl and he goes, have either of you ever had the pleasure of watching Avatar The Last Airbender? <laughs> um, fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, but no, he would have definitely fucked me up if I even, you know, remotely laughed at any of the things he said, <laughs> right, which were right. all great. Right, right, right. Whenever Stefan Urkel would enter a scene, just going back to that, Mm-hmm. I love how like I I imagine that the fresh the family matters like audit they had like different signs for the audience like laugh and like whenever Stefan came out they put the cum sign up <laughs> and everyone would just be like ah oh! oh! why was he so hot like <laughs> he'd enter and see people be like, hey baby Ooh! that was just Jaleel White being like yeah he was I so want to get tired. pussy yeah he was so tired of being a fucking nerd Brandon Brandon Wardell's going to do that at some point. He's going to demand that his agents let him play, a, you know, a character that's he's not a, a black face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's going to demand to play Stefan. Twitter meme. Uh, dude, my sh- shit is popping, dude. Mm-hmm. It's time for me to go black. I feel like I feel like Brandon's sort of doing that already, trying to trying to make his brand about. He's doing digital black face. <laughs> huh? He's doing digital. What's going to happen to him when he like finally ages out of that? And Maybe then, he doesn't. He doesn't. That's do true. It. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he just stay. You know, he's a uh, half Filipino. He's got good. Good genes, age-wise, I think he might be okay. No, but I mean like, I mean intellectually, he ages out. Oh of being no, he'll like never a, intellectually age out of it. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> no, nah, he might. Who knows? Who cares? Fuck Brandon. 
Um, Dude, Brandon actually is here, right? <laughs> oh, is he? Yeah, yeah. Where? You want to go get him? You yeah, want to go, yeah, go get, get Go get Brandon, yeah, dude. Yeah, okay. um, make sure, just to have him, like, make, tell him that we don't do characters on this podcast. So yeah, just sure. have He's Brandon just come as characters. himself. Yeah. <laughs> any bullshit half thought out characters? Yeah. Oh, here he is. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh, hey, guys. Um, <laughs> hi. Okay, um, so this is... Hey, Brandon. It's hey, us, your friends. Hey, Brandon Wardell. Is, so yeah. I was, because uh, we're <laughs> boys, I was just wanted to work out new bits that I do. Oh, okay. Well, okay. this is, you know, it's kind of a conversational podcast. Sweet, dude. Okay. Yeah, and, and remember, this something? isn't Vine, so you have more than six seconds to do your jokes <laughs> that you stole from oh, black no, people. Oh, no, no. That won't, that won't be necessary, my dear man. Um, okay. All right. And here's the first bit. <laughs> Here's the first bit. Go ahead, um, Brandon. <laughs> so, so Drake, so Drake was, <laughs> please, here's my first bit. So Drake was, uh, t- took a, Drake had a Pokemon and I said, what kind of Pokemon is that, Drake? And he said, it's a, it's a Charbander. And I said, Drake. You're savage AF, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're uh, savage AF, bro. Yeah. You got zero shit. chill, baby. All right, hell yeah. Dude. Can I try out another joke? Now I know why you're famous. <laughs> Can I try it? Go another ahead, joke? Brandon. Let's hear it, Brandon. So, uh, Justin, Justin Bieber was uh, Justin Bieber is in the news. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you even doing? Go ahead. And <laughs> it doesn't even sound like Brandon. <laughs> Jack, Jack. <laughs> Jack come in and he said, Justin Bieber, is this your Pokemon or is this my Pokemon? <laughs> you sound like Miss Swan now. <laughs> Br- Brandon? I, Brandon's, I, Brandon's mom is Miss Swan, I'm pretty sure. His, yeah, dad's, on, his, a, his, his dad's a, a GI lady. and his mom, I don't know his parents. I won't, I won't stand for We can talk about shit on Brandon, but not the Wardells. They are lovely people. Uh, you've met his parents. Yeah, no, they're great. Um, why? Did you go to his bar mitzvah? Yeah, we do last mitzvah. year is bar mitzvah last yeah. year. Uh, I believe I'm just, uh, guys, 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 still in the room right now. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, hey, Brandon, you're still here. About, hey, buddy, get out of here, man. I, I like that, that Brandon is just emo Phillips. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What the <laughs> fuck was he in that movie? I met Drake <laughs> the other day, <laughs> and uh, Drake was lit. Yeah, Brandon, Brandon was just like the guy from the, <laughs> the, the B-52s. Yeah, um, yeah. I'll follow him. <laughs> Anyway, the Snapchat is a little <laughs> a place where we can rip off black Twitter jokes. <laughs> He's going to hear this and get mad. For sure. Yeah. He's we can have him on and we'll squash the beef. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's we just just that's the point of podcast. You start the beef and then you bring him on the pod yeah. and you squash the beef, dude. That's what yeah. pods are all about, baby. <laughs> I, you know, I agree with that now. And I think we've come full circle because initially I disagreed with that idea but that they're for are. beef squashing. But now I, I you know, I... I think I agree with it, and I, I no longer think the podcasts are about like, you know, being funny or really having anything to say. Absolutely or, not. You know, no, no, no. We'd be no. having conversations that aren't just like sort of cyclical and, and making fun of the same people <laughs> or, over and over again. No, I got sixty-five new Twitter followers. I am drunk on power, mm-hmm. and let's keep keep it going with this podcast. Uh, uh, I think it's going to be great. W- right now, I think what would be the best what the people demand is if we play a clip show of all the best moments. <laughs> we should do the, the next one. From the last <laughs> three episodes. <laughs> the last three episodes. Um, some, I got, some of the hits from I got the past. some tweets about some people's favorite parts of the, our episode. Can we stop doing this? This is pathetic. Yeah, this, this is the is fourth... <laughs> one and we're talking about we're talking about it as if it's fucking anything. Dude. I don't know. I just ate a lot of bread, so I'm kind of like uh, I'm kind of sleepy. Well, let's I want to tell it. Come Nation, Come Town, just to keep listening because we have tons of topics, issues, discussions, and <laughs> other things that are going to be coming up in the next 55 episodes of Come Town. I'd love to talk about you know how's everybody doing fuckwise. It is Come Town. Is everybody fucking? We all we already did that last week. Didn't None of we? us have fucked. N- there's no. Oh, here, Adam's uh, not girlfriend is here. We'll just <laughs> we'll just give her a microphone and she'll. It's Michelle, true. do you want to come on? <clears throat> She's been sitting here in the background the entire time. Someone thinks maybe we're we about could. to do another. She was trying to watch porn and yeah, no. Just now we <laughs> can't in- introduce anybody. This is falling apart. Everyone's gonna think it's a no. character. This is fun though. So you don't want to... Michelle, just come on the pod real yeah, quick. Yeah, you have to come on the podcast because we got to fill 10 more minutes and <laughs> we need something. Here, you take my microphone. Oh, no. Take take. Adam. So guys, this have... is my FWB, Michelle. 
<laughs> and you please don't use my real name. Um, her that's not her real name. Her real name. <laughs> Her real name is well, Goku. We, we won't say it. We won't say what her real name is. But So we understand that you don't want to uh, date Adam. Is that true? Not at this moment. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't answer for the lady. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. That's good. No, no, tell us why. I love this. This is great. Oh, let's hear why. Let's hear. <laughs> no, I understand. Adam is kind of a piece of shit. Kind of annoying. He's kind of annoying, sure. Um, <laughs> what about him is annoying? This is great. Uh... I don't know. It just <laughs> doesn't feel like something we should do. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool to like sm- fuck every once in a while and like, yeah, hang out. Yeah, sex is great. Yeah, is I'll he good at fucking? That. I'll give him that. Is Adam Whoa. good at fucking? He's so I think, he's happy I think he's, I think he's okay at fucking. He's okay? Like, what would it's you what give him? what a cushion him? is feeling. A C I'm, plus? I'm in... I'm enthusiastic. I don't think I'm good at it. I just think I'm passionate about it. So he's like a... But he likes to cuddle afterwards. He's a big cuddler. I could tell that about him. Yeah, I am too. I feel like we're in the same zone where it's like, I'm going to try my hardest, but that doesn't mean anything's going to happen. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean it's going to be a great turnout. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. But that's what I found that... uh, So if Adam was better at fucking, would you want to be with him? (laughs) 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 <laughs> be honest. <laughs> Grab a mic here, Nick. Take Adam's mic. Fuck well, Adam. No, I think... If you, I had, like, an undeniable dick. I mean, maybe the sex is good, so I don't want to date. Oh, uh, interesting. But no, no, no. Don't give us that bullshit answer to, to <laughs> make Adam feel better. But if he was, like... how? So you're saying he fucks at about a 7 out of 10 right now. <laughs> Right? Um, yeah. Six seven to out seven. Of six to seven. Six to seven. She bumped you down. Uh, six to eight. I mean, six to eight. Six to eight. On your best day, you get you hit an eight. B's not bad, dude. But the one to ten scale, the one to ten scale for men always translates directly to inches. <laughs> For yeah, women, see, it's I don't about really care rest. about inches. I don't Ooh, think that really matters. What, what are Actually, you, gay? <laughs> <laughs> I love inches. Hey, this is great. Um... <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm back on now. By the way, this has got it. I got to so, move this. But if he was a ten out of ten, would you be with him? Um. Would he be? If he was better at fucking, pro- would it like uh, equal out how annoying he is? No, I don't think it'll ever equal out. Oh, okay. I think it's just. I think it's just there forever. <laughs> That's so. I good. try to tune it out. That's great. So what are you? Let's find you a man. What are you looking for? <laughs> We've got a podcast listenership uh, of over 45 people, I think. Um, I don't know. I guess somebody who doesn't cook me breakfast. <laughs> See, so you want to be treated is, badly. This is a major podcast flaw because the only way podcasts work is if you have a girl, but only when you just tell them to shut up all the time. Okay, okay. That's fair. All, all the alpha male podcasts. Can I myself for a second? You're not on camera. We don't have another. Sorry. We only got okay. three mics. This is, uh, you know what? That's 20 minutes. So, <laughs> hey guys, that was the second half. Uh, you gotta look. Uh, some podcasts, they know what they're doing. We're not just kind of like, you know, fucking. hell yes. You want a good podcast? Uh, we got uh, our friends, sort of a sister podcast, Chapo Trap House. Yeah, listen to that. Which are everyone who listens to this is just people they told <laughs> yeah. to listen to this. Really? That one's, yeah, they're very funny guys, but they're also like. You know, if you're into like, have you listened fucking to knowing it? who the president is? They're and smart, smart shit. Guys They're shit. not dumb pieces. I don't of do shit. that. I'm not like a homework guy. You know, I'm we're just not fucking guy. nerds, dude. We we're get, not homework nerds. We we're don't like plan re- out what we're gonna say we, on the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> we just fucking get real and have a good time, and we we fucking you know what we do? We get four twenty. We get four twenty. <laughs> I just want to also thank my friend with benefits, uh, M- Michelle, for being Which on the podcast. Yeah, thank you, Michelle. And I just want to say you bring a lot of joy to my life. Well, Even don't if, you're not, if you're not my full girlfriend, yeah. I don't care because you still make me happy <laughs> when we're together. If it makes you happy. Oh, that's so, so good. So I'm going to just say that out there to the world and everyone well, listening. Is that Great. Cheryl Crow? I think so. You know what I was doing the other day is... Uh, are you strong enough to eat my ass? <laughs> <laughs> that was stuck in my head for like six hours. <laughs> That's pretty good. Thanks. Thank you for uh, listening to Come Town, guys. Uh, follow me at, on Instagram at Stavi Baby, S-T-A-V-V-Y Baby. 
Uh, I'm naked as hell, and I think you'll really like it. Um, I don't have anything else to plug because my career is bad. But yeah. anybody else? That's fine. I'm at. Uh, I'll be back on Red Eye on June 9th. Fox News. I'll Fox be- News. A 4 a.m. programming. Uh, four, yeah, 4 a.m. <laughs> it's on from 4 to 4:01 a.m. <laughs> Only in uh, American Samoa. <laughs> <laughs> Guam. Yeah, in Guam. Um, but yeah, thanks for listening to the final episode of Come Town. <laughs> it's not the final episode. It's been and such I think a good this is going to sound run. good. Uh, it's been a great run. We've had you know three great episodes. Probably we'll be, the best run of any podcast. We're gonna roll a, a best of next week. So yeah, uh, I think we already we already made that joke. Oh, did we? Fuck. Yeah, we did. Next uh, week we're doing. <laughs> next week we're doing a, something a little bit different. It's gonna be a little bit more planned out. We're doing. We're finally doing my plan of this American come, where we're gonna we're gonna have a host. We're gonna have three different stories about uh, American come, <laughs> and. Uh, and uh, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> you know, it's actually illegal to transport raw cum across state lines. Really? It's got to be pasteurized. What um, if it's... <laughs> pasteurized, you just swish it in your mouth a little yeah, bit yeah, and yeah. spit it out? Well, you have to swish it fast enough that it heats up like one of those yeah, yeah. Vitamix Louis blenders. Louis Pasteur, dude. Yeah. You don't know yeah, yeah. science? It's a French guy that did all these experiments oh, with cum in his mouth. I know a couple of French guys. <laughs> oh! <laughs> You're forgetting that we Hello? already, we yeah, already did know, the French guy. Hello? We were just no, basically no, frozen. No, no, stop, stop. Let's end it. We were ending it. Yeah, yeah. No, we're ending it. This is, that's the end of this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. My what boyfriend a fucking nightmare. has his penis. <laughs> All right. Goodbye, everybody. Thank goodbye, you. Goodbye, everyone.